Hello, welcome to this part of our tutorial. Today we're going to look at gas injection well. That's what we're going to model today in this tutorial. So let's go directly to business. Um, like always, the first thing which you have to do is uh, to go to the options. Options. If you click on this, or alternatively, like I've stated in um, the part one, I have covered how to open this windows in the part one part one of this tutorial. Oh, if you don't go to option options, the other thing which you have to do is to cl click on the first cell layer, double click on that, and then this comes up. So for water injection, I mean, sorry, gas injection well, which is what we want to model today, we have to change the fluid type from oil and water to dry and wet gas. We'll leave every other thing the way it is, except the well type, which we're going to change from producer to injector. Okay, so that is what we have for today. Um, okay, every other thing will remain at their default value. So go done, and then we'll go for the PVT data. For this model, the gas gravity is um, 0 0.6. The separator pressure is at 250, 250. The condensate gas ratio is 0. The um, condensate gravity is 50 API. The water gas ratio is zero. The, um, what else do we have? The, the water salinity is 10,000 ppm. The impurities is zero. There are no impurities in this model. And um, that's all we have. So you just go done. Okay, the next thing which we're going to look at is um, the equipment, the data, equipment data. We're going to select everything except, oh, sorry about that. Now, uh, we're going to select all, and then I'll deselect the surface equipment because we're not, we are not going to model that in this tutorial. The injected fluid temperature is one thing which you have to supply. And um, for, our, uh, for our model, the injected fluid temperature is at 60 degrees. Okay, so we'll go done. Oh, sorry. We're gonna we're supposed to select edit. Okay, so um, oh, I'll quickly fill this. For the duration survey, we have it's a vertical well at eight thousand uh, feet. And then we have this. We have just a, a tubing and a casing. The tubing is at 7,800 feet. 7,800. The inside diameter is at 3.99992 feet. Okay, the, the roughness is um, 0 0.0018. Okay, the same thing for the casing 0 0.0018. The casing, the casing is at um, 8,000, and um, the casing diameter is 8.3. Okay, so that's all we have there. The um, geothermal gradient at the surface, the temperature is at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and um, at the depth of 8,000, the temperature is at 200, um, is it 200? Yeah, 200 degrees. The overall heat transfer coefficient is 3. So we'll leave this one where it is. Okay, so we go done. The next thing is the IPR data. This model, you're going to use the petroleum expert um, correlation for the IPR model, and we'll use the interskin by N. The reservoir pressure. Yeah, reservoir pressure is at 2,000. The temperature is at 200. The water gas ratio, which we've, um, I think we've entered that somewhere before, is zero. Condensate gas ratio is zero. Compaction model, you're not going to do that. Um, next thing is uh, the input data for this. Reservoir permeability is at 150 millidacy. The reservoir thickness is at 100 feet. The drainage area is um, 340 acres. The 
best shape factor of course we know that one is um 31.6 or okay the well bore radius is 0.354 feet and then we have um perforation interval 100 feet um yeah 100 feet interval our time since production started this well has been in production for about 10 days according to the data i have here the rate of our porosity is at um we have 25 percent fraction should be 0.25 and then the conic water saturation is 20 percent okay i have that 0.2 so let's go to the geothermal skin. Our skin is 5. I think that should be all. That's sufficient. Next thing we have to do is to calculate. And this is what we have. Um, one thing I'll have to point out is this. I'd already said this when I did the water injection well tutorial model. Okay, um, for injection wells, the IPR you see here is not actually showing you the maximum production of course you're not producing you're injecting what you're seeing here the aof absolute open flow potential yeah the absolute open flow here actually denotes the maximum the highest rate at which the ipr pressure was calculated was computed so that's all you're actually seeing here it's not actually the maximum production line. okay that's that now we have our value for non decent flow um, factor Okay, we are done with that. All we have to do is go done. And then that's all. That's all. The uh, only thing you'll have to do, check is um, water production. So for that, we'll go to calculations, system, IPL, VLP, three variables. Alternatively, if you don't want to do this, the other thing which you can do is to come here. You'll see system. System, three variables. System, four variables. So I can click on this. And it brings up the same window okay so that's just for your information so the top note pressure for our model is 2500 this ratios are zero petroleum expert to okay will allow these to remain where they are and then we'll continue with calculate calculate and calculate Oops. okay so uh we're having gas rate this and all that so that's the rate at which you'll be injecting into the model um so we have plots system plot and that's all we have as the rate at which you're going to inject into this model and um that's all it's as simple as that to model a gas injection uh well so I'll stop there. The other thing which you'll have to do, which you'll necessarily need to do, is to generate lift curves. Because for wells like this, they are not uh, you may not really get the uh, the information until you link it to you link it with the production well. Of course the water injection well does not behave on its own. You're supposed to link it to your reservoir. So that uh, oh, sorry, I have been saying water injection well. <laughs> the gas injection well. Or whatever, what, or any type of injection you're doing, you're injecting into the reservoir. So you have to link this to the reservoir, to your reservoir model, and the linking is done in gap. Of course, when you have your reservoir model from um, Mbal, you model it, you take it to gap, and then you link your injection wheel to the model in gap, and that's where you'll actually see the resultant effect of this injection. So for now, I'll just stop here. I have done um, the generation of lift curves. I have a tutorial on that. So you'll do well to look at that. I, I will not want to look at that here again. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you some other time. Bye for now.